Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to some thrift stores. Um, we're going to a few that we actually don't normally go to. They're a little bit further out, like what, 40, 40 minutes? Yeah. 40 minutes out. Um, far. But we've been hitting up the thrift stores pretty regularly since we have off this week. Um, so yeah, we're checking out these locations. Just gonna see what they have. Let's go. Value Village. There's still a good amount of Christmas left out, which is a good sign, but I still don't have high expectations. That's expensive. This is pretty. Something I was hiding. At first I thought this was like a, you know, an okay planter, but it's mushrooms, which is unique. And it's actually a Relpo in J made in Japan with no sticker. So that's great. Hmm. Maybe I can have them price it for me. We are at our second spot. Um, it's called Red, White, and Blue Thrift Store. I know that there are a few locations on the East Coast. Um, very well known for their clothing. This place is huge. Um, we don't have great luck with the housewares, but let's go in and see if we do have any luck today. These are Shiny Bright Christopher Radko Reproductions. They're only $1.99 and I know some reproductions go for some money still, so I'm going to hold on to these and see what they go for on eBay. This is nice, this whole set of satin balls, unused. How much is it? Mmm. It is $2.99. What'd she find? What'd it's she find? They're pretty cool. I mean, they're made in China, but they're, they're still pretty cool. Huh? Oh, is it that? Um, yeah, it folds open to be. That's cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know. Are they like 90s? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's made in China. I would think any time from the 90s to now. $1.99. That's yeah. not bad. It's like five of them wow. or something. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, I cool. found these because I have like a dream of having like a tree with all satin balls. Mm -hmm. But like this is like an impulse buy. But it is only $2.99. What's that? Oh, this just caught my eye. Made in Taiwan. Sort of cute though. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a cart. This is sort of cute. Yeah, that is sort of cute. It's a good price as well. That old ghost. Goes to that, doesn't it? The green guy? Yeah. I think so. Oh, the top to it? Yeah. I think it might. Yeah. This one's pretty. With the flowers. Yeah, I looked at that. It's anchor hopping. That's really nice. Not a bad price either.
the mid-century bowl set for $13. I don't know. It's just so heavy to ship. But I can definitely appreciate it. Maybe if it was pink. Look what I just found. Another one for six dollars. Unbelievable. I don't know why I'm finding these lately. Amazing. Look at this like lady bear and her little baby bear. <laughs> why are they just the same? Is it like a they're so fancy? Oh, they're attached. Yeah, like they're going baby bear. Mother baby bear going to the Christmas gala. Look at this guy. He's really cute. I sort of like him. There's still Christmas out. Yeah, there is. I know. I'm shocked too. There's like a good amount of it too. And it this might... is nice. Is that a trivet? Yeah. Japan. Eight dollars though? Jeez. Yeah. For right now, after the holidays. Please, as if if we didn't see a whole tower for fifty dollars, we wouldn't buy it. I didn't say that it was too much. <laughs> a bunch of these. I sold these at, on, during a sale. I think they're actually Tupperware branded. For the Halloween basket. Like That's these. a different one. Fun, yeah. yeah. Look, Shane, it's those, um... Are these the Tupperware cookie cutters? It looks like they have the same handle, doesn't it? Um, it would say, yep, Tupperware. I can't tell what the shapes are. There's a four-leaf clover, there's a... Yeah, uh, it's the um, holiday set, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Um... Yeah, these are a little, a little collectible. People like them. Yeah. Not for today, but cool to see. And here's the haul. <laughs> we have some pretty great stuff. Yeah, I'm really surprised. Let's yeah. go through it. We went to a few different thrifts. Um, the Red, White, and Blue thrift place had the salt and pepper shakers. And these are actually, as I had shown, re reproductions of vintage salt and pepper shakers these are actually done by christopher radko under the name shiny bright i'm not sure how old they are but because they are vintage inspired they could probably sell for maybe ten dollars or so um and they're just really cute and a good way to get a vintage looking piece without breaking the bank and i think somebody will enjoy them mm -hmm. the next thing we found at that red white and blue thrift were these amazing satin Balls, which are actually new old stock the only package that's opened are the yellow ones and Janine and I were talking and it's really unusual and rare to find these brand new yeah usually you find like one or two in a bag at the thrift store and they're like fraying because they're um, made out of what like little satin threads yeah right? each of those it's like individual threads so I think this is like an instant collection and if you guys haven't seen already, Vanessa from Vintage V-Spot does a satin ornament Christmas tree that looks absolutely incredible. I'll link her info down below and you guys should definitely check her out. Um, but yeah, she does an amazing job with these satin ornaments, which are, you would think like outdated, but she does a beautiful job. And I'd love to, you know, have some type of Christmas tree using these one day. So I picked up the set because you can't beat it for... Whoops. Mm -hmm. Because you can't beat it for $3. This um, blue glass candle holder, I think it is, um, with the sun on it. I picked this up because it reminded me of the um, Libby Sun and Moon glasses and mugs. Um, they're pretty collectible. Uh, I, I've sold one before. I sold a mug for $75 from that set. So I picked this up um, not knowing whether this is Libby or anything, it's really not marked. I don't think it is, but if anyone knows anything about this, let me know. Cool. Um, I think the last thing we found were these Halloween decorations. You actually found them, just Yes. Then. So we found this bag of four of them for $3, I think the tag is. I'll, I'll make sure to include what we paid, but really didn't have an idea what these were. They are marked Fortune Off for $4.99. So they're not 
vintage. Maybe they're from the 2000s, but to me, they looked like a little honeycomb piece. And when we opened it up, this is what it looks like open. And let me tell you, it's so much bigger than what we thought. It's huge. Yeah. It's really cool. It's got the design on both sides. Mm -hmm. And it folds in half. And you could actually, it looks like, put a Yeah, I think light. you're supposed to put some sort of light in there. And it would light up like a lantern. And it's very reminiscent of, what were you saying? From the 30s? Yeah, it reminds me of these giant um, honeycomb decorations that were popular in the 30s um, and the 40s. Maybe I'll include some pictures, but that's sort of what it reminded me of when we first opened it up. It's just really big. It's really big. I love the colors on it. It would look so good in a display with some of our vintage um, die cuts mm. for Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Really cool. I think we'll keep a set and maybe sell a set. Yeah. Awesome. The next items we found all came from another thrift store. I found these little snow babies, and at first I was contemplating. I didn't think they were too cute. They are marked left in, and of course, whenever we see that sticker, we know it's vintage. We know it's from the 50s or the 60s, and for $3.50. So yeah, I took them home, and I did some searching on eBay to see how much they were. I didn't check in the store. And I was really surprised to see that they sell for close to $100. Oh my god. They're definitely a collectible ceramic piece, and I had no idea. Do they have other... I don't know if you know this, but do they have other um, sets? Like, with different well, little... What are they, babies or something? I guess so. They're like little snow babies. And what I could see from eBay is that this set was a set of three. Uh -huh. So we have all the pieces here, which is really exciting. But I don't yeah. know if Lefton did any other, like, snow baby type product lines if anybody else knows i'd love to know because i've never seen these before how did we manage to find another one it's it's insane when you came over to me <laughs> i was like wow okay she found another one after what well a couple weeks ago you found yeah like two weeks ago and this one's actually cheaper it's can't see but it's six dollars it was six dollars which a... is a steal that was a great find. Again, just laying on the shelf. Yeah. I don't know. Um, people ask, you know, what time do you go? Where do you go? Mm -hmm. We just go out on the weekends because that's when we can. And we go out all yeah. day. And I really think it's the luck of the draw, really. It's whenever they decide to put stuff out. I don't know. Right place, right time. Exactly. I also found this really cute planter. I love this planter. It's so different because it's a mushroom. Mm -hmm. I've never seen a mushroom planter before. And it's got like a little bear on it. Yeah. I love it. It's really cute. It does have the opening, and it is a Rubens. Oh, nope. No, it's a Relpo. It's a Relpo. It is a Relpo. Um, and I think Relpo and Rubens make really cute baby planters. So this was really cute to find, and mm -hmm. I think somebody will really enjoy it. It's really cute. I might keep it. Yeah. I don't know. I might keep it. <laughs> <laughs> and then last but not least, what did you find here, Janine? I found this vintage 1950s wall clock. I have uh, some photos that I'll insert now of what it looked like before because it did not look like this. It was really dirty. The inside of the glass was dirty. There was like some old like moth nest in there. It was pretty gross. Um, this whole silver piece was filled with crud. And I saw it in the thrift and I thought to myself, this clock could be beautiful if cleaned up. And it was $24.99, but it was 50% off. I don't really like to spend that much at the thrift. And here it is all cleaned up. It cleaned up beautifully. Thank you. I love the color. And that wraps up our haul for this video. Yeah. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. We really appreciate it. We um, are now over 500 subscribers. That's so exciting. And when we when we found out, we, we high-fived and we cheered. So we really appreciate everyone subscribing and watching our videos. Yeah, thanks so much. We'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.